This method provides the ZebraFish community a tool for the analysis of intracellular dynamics with a resolution unattainable in vivo. And also, it allows to compensate for the lack of ZebraFish cell lines. The main advantage of this technique is that you isolate and transfect those primary cells directly from the original tissue, so you do not need to keep cell lines. To begin the protocol, prepare the zebrafish embryos two days post-fertilization, or DPF. On day one, set up several crossings of the zebrafish strain of choice. On day two, mate the fish and collect the eggs directly after spawning in a plastic 10 cm petri dish. Remove the dead and contaminated eggs with a plastic pasture pipette. Wash the eggs once with Danio 30% with 0.0001% weight per volume methylene blue. Then, replace the medium with fresh Danio 30% without methylene blue and incubate the eggs overnight at 28 degrees Celsius. On day 3, remove the dead and contaminated embryos and exchange the medium to Danio 30%. Then incubate the embryos overnight at 28 degrees Celsius. On day 4, remove the chorions by removing the medium until approximately 10 milliliters are left in the dish. Add 1 milliliter of 1 milligram per milliliter of pronase and incubate the embryos on a shaker for approximately 30 minutes at room temperature until all the chorions are detached. Next, spread silicone grease around the...